over the fence. Luke loved to kick his ball around the yard. He tried to be careful not to kick the ball where his mum didn't want it, like into the washing or over the fence. Sometimes Luke wished he had a friend to play with. Luke's sister Emily didn't like kicking a ball. She wanted to play with her dolls. Luke's little brother Ben loved kicking a ball, but he wasn't very good at it. He ran round and round in circles before his foot even touched the ball. One Saturday, when Luke carried his ball into the yard, he saw a very big truck over the fence. It was full of boxes and all kinds of chairs and tables. Some men were carrying things out of the truck into the house next door. Luke dropped his ball and ran inside to ask his dad what was happening. Dad told him that some people were moving into the house next door. Do they have a boy who is as old as me and likes to kick a ball? asked Luke excitedly. Well, they do have a boy, but I don't know how old he is, and I don't know if he likes kicking a ball. When the truck is finished unloading, we'll go next door and say hello. Then we'll find out, said Luke's dad. Luke stood at his window, watching more and more boxes come out of the truck and hoping that soon they would be finished. After what seemed like a very long time, the truck left. Luke ran to his dad, yelling, The truck's gone! The truck's gone! But Luke's dad was in the shed fixing the lawnmower. You'll have to wait until I finish this before we can go next door, Dad said. Luke plopped down on the back step. He was tired of waiting. He'd spent the whole day waiting. Luke wondered what the boy next door was like. What was his name? What did he look like? Did he like kicking a ball? After a while, Luke went back to his dad. I'm tired of waiting. I want to know all about the boy next door. Do you know him, Daddy? No, I don't know anything about him. I won't know him till I meet him, said Dad. Well, who does know, asked Luke. His family, his friends from where he used to live, and of course God. God knows him very well, said Dad. How does God know him, asked Luke. God made him, said Dad, so God knows the boy next door very, very well. God knows his name and what he looks like and whether he likes kicking a ball just like God knows all those things about you. I can't wait to find out about him too, said Luke, as he ran back out to sit on the step. It wasn't long before Luke heard a voice calling over the fence. All Luke could see was some fingers and a hand waving. Hello, said the voice. Luke found a box to stand on so he could see who was on the other side of the fence. Hello, said Luke. Hello, said the boy who was about as tall as Luke. My name's Thomas Elliot Morrison. That's a very long name. I'm Luke. Hello, Luke. Do you like kicking a ball around the backyard? Asked Luke in a hurry to find out the answer. Yes, I do, said Thomas Elliot Morrison. I have my own ball and I love kicking it. Great, said Luke. We'll be coming in when Dad's finished in the shed. See you then. Finally, Luke knew a little bit about the boy next door. He now knew what he looked like, and most importantly, that he liked kicking a ball. He also knew his name, or at least he thought he did. But as Luke ran to tell his dad about the boy next door, he realised that he had forgotten the boy's name. It was a very long name, said Luke to his father, something like John L. Uh, Morris, I just can't remember. Well, isn't it good that God doesn't forget our names, even if we do, said Luke's dad. And Luke sat and thought how great it was that God knew all about him and that God wouldn't forget his name. Come on, Luke, said his dad, time to meet the neighbours. And with his ball under his arm and holding his dad's hand, Luke went next door to meet Thomas Elliot Morrison.